Opus number three. And we have had an incredible start to Opus. First one, we had Ryan throwing down. The second one, we brought you in a totally outside of the box concept of literally what I wanted Opus to be all about is literally things that you've never thought of before, tactics, anything that's outside the box that's going to drive money, that's going to get conversions, that's going to capture leads, that's going to help you with your business. That's what Opus is all about, is thinking outside the box. As I've said before, you've had plenty of search engine optimization training. We've been doing it for six months. We've had assimilation. We've had assimilation light. You've had Greg Morrison live. You've had Fletch live. And you've had Joe. And now you still have all of them that are weekly doing search engine optimization. So instead of retreading stuff, I thought that I would bring on some innovators. We have Derek and Ryan who are incredibly innovative, along with myself, and literally give you outside-the-box solutions for you to grow your business. And that's what Opus has been about. And I, I know that before the recording started, I let everyone know, the webinar last week was absolutely incredible. Everyone was going crazy. Uh, we had 240 plus people that decided that it was a really good idea to start investing in Wi-Fi and collecting leads from Wi-Fi. And I felt that it was one of the most incredible things that I'd ever seen to get your foot in the door that literally cost people absolutely no money. And, uh, you know, that's some of the ideas that we want to bring you so you're consistently challenged, so you're consistently thinking of ways that you can go out and grow your business. Now, we're going to mix a ton of things up with Opus. And we have a big mixed bag of things, so we're just kind of pulling things out. There's really no set structure to where we're going with. So what I wanted to do is we're going to go over some client getting stuff, which you could consider last week is what we did. Uh, first week we went over funnels, which is Ryan's funnel. Tonight what we're going to do is, is we are going to go over what I said. One of the themes that's going to be running through Opus that is going to be very consistent is we're going to show you that we're going to build a site right in front of your eyes that will get 100,000 visitors a month. Now, there's a lot of us that have joined together to do this. It'll be myself, Derek, Ryan. We've got Joe Marfolio that's involved. We're all going to chip in, and we're going to you're going to watch us grow this site. And what I did was is I put the site up, and I've kind of let it sit. And then what I did was is I worked on growing the social media profiles over the last four weeks so we could get a nice jump start with it. So tonight... We're going to go over that website, and I want you guys to visit it. I want you guys to follow us on Instagram and Twitter when I show it to you. I want you to see over our shoulder exactly how we're going to do this. So there's too many guys out there that teach or that teach SEO or that teach all this stuff that is literally just full of shit. You know, they'll say, go do this, but they don't have anything ranking. They'll go, well, here's how you build a site like this, but they don't have one. Or they, you know, give that lame answer, oh, I can't show it to you, it's confidential. Well, I'm tired of those answers, and I think you guys deserve transparency. I know that Derek's that way. I know Ryan's that way. We walk the talk, and then you can actually see what we've done. I would not be teaching search engine optimization if I didn't rank as many places as I did. Ryan ranks incredibly well. Ryan's had case studies where he's built his own sites up to 100,000. Derek is consistently doing research and development. So these are the kind of things that you're going to get. So tonight, we're going to go over the website. We're going to show you the website. You can check it in analytics. You can check the traffic. We've had zero traffic. We've never even told anyone what the name of the website is. I'm going to show you the social media sites so you can follow them. Then we're going to go over something that I've been doing right in front of your eyes and that I've been doing to absolutely build an incredible list, something called looping. So with that, if you guys are excited about learning what looping is, give me hashtag looping because we're going to learn that tonight. You're going to be able to do the exact same thing that I'm doing to drive tremendous amounts of traffic and engagement to your site or your client's site. And I'm telling you, you guys are going to be excited about it. And I've been doing it pretty much right in front of your eyes, and many of you might not have even realized it. So we're going to kind of shine the spotlight 
on that a little bit stronger tonight and get things going. But first thing we want to do, we want to say hello to our co-host that is with me here. First, what's up, Derek, man? Derek is always here. Went from assimilation, now he's with Opus. What's going on, buddy? Yeah, you know, just kind of chilling. <laughs> kind of chilling, huh? Yeah. Played some golf Anything today. exciting? Anything uh, exciting? Ah, uh, just golfing today and had to add golf? the kid. So, yeah. Yeah, I golf quite a lot. You golf? Oh, I didn't know. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's great. So are, are you any good? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a pretty good long uh, driver, but I'm still working on accuracy stuff. <laughs> How many times have you did the Happy Gilmore swing? Uh, I can hit it that way, but not very uh, <laughs> consistent. But you tried it, right? I think every well, guy's I, I can it. hit it. It actually works pretty good with my sequency. <laughs> <laughs> cool, cool. And uh, we've got Ryan with us this week also. I was able to spend some time with Ryan over the weekend. What's going on, Ryan? Chilling, man. <laughs> and everybody's chilling. <laughs> it's Wednesday. Everybody's it's chilling. Cool. Yeah, I I am uh, I've like never announced this until a couple days ago, but uh, Ryan and I will will probably be neighbors very shortly. Uh, in the next couple weeks, I will be acquiring my second location and be spending a lot of time in Miami, and there'll be a lot of people there to get some great masterminds in, meet up and do some stuff. So I'm going to be spending half my time in Miami, half in Orlando. There's Ryan, there's Liz, there's Tim Schmidt, there's a lot of cool people in Miami. So think we can get a lot, a lot, a lot of masterminding together, create some really cool stuff, being closer to such innovative people. So the next uh, 30, 60 days, more than likely 30, I will uh, acquire my second location down there. So I will be in Miami right along with Ryan. So anything new going on, Ryan? No, man. Busy week so far. <laughs> mm -hmm. A lot of work going on. A lot of calls today. Cool. It's always good. I've been consistently doing some R&D today, but uh, out like side of that, it was just getting ready for the webinar. So we're just going to dive right in. I don't want to keep you guys very long here tonight. The information is going to be really cool. I would rather, you know, keep it short, keep the information powerful, than to drag it on and just be boring. So we're going to dive into it. We're going to blaze right through it. So the first thing that we want to show you tonight is we want to show you the website that we are going to grow. And what I want to do is, is, before we get started, how many of you would love to be a part of a digital marketing magazine that started from zero and that could become one of the top internet marketing websites on the internet? How many, how many of you would like to get in on the ground floor of that and participate? Give me hell yeah. I want to know. Because that's exactly what we decided to do. What we're going to do is, is because we need the website to get some content on it, because we all just can't fill the website up with content. I'm going to show you here in a little bit. What I'm going to do is, is when I reveal the website, what I want you to do is if any of you feel that you have a writer's bug or that you've got some cool information that you would like to share, what I'm going to do is, is for OMGers only, only, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to allow you to email me an article, and we will all look over it, and if your article is good enough to publish, then we will publish it on the site and promote it. And that's just to fill up some of the content. How many of you would be down for that? To like know that you could get an article out there, get your name out there, and I really plan on growing this website up to where it can sell for millions of dollars. I'm not doing this just for, you know, for fun. I'm, like, actually doing it for monetization. I want to have a lot of stuff going to it, have this thing running. Even about a year from now, I would love to have this website just literally at least up to five, dollars $600,000 a month in revenue. That's exactly what I'm doing it for. But I would love to be able to get it filled with content first. So if... You're down with that. How many of you would actually write an article for the website? Just, I just want to get a kind of feel for it. Just say, hashtag, I'm down. I'd like to see it. See if you would do it. Because what we'll do is, is for the first 30 days, to just fill the website up with, with some content. I'm going to give you the email that you can reach out to me for that. And it could be about anything in digital marketing. 
I'm going to describe exactly what the site's going to be about so you can all participate in it so you can know what you can write about. And it's going to be some pretty cool stuff. This isn't just going to be an SEO sort of a website. It's going to cover all things in digital marketing, which could be a number of things, and we're going to be thinking outside the box. We get a lot of people that are, that, that are saying that they would definitely be interested. But not only that, it's going to get your creative flow going. Ryan's an incredible writer, and we'll probably at some point get him to show how he gets his content together, how he writes it. We'll have a couple other people, but we're also going to talk about an opus, content writing, and, and, and how to do that. So this is a very good way for you to get it, get some exposure. You can tell some people that you actually, if we accept it in there, and if the site gets huge, you can tell people that you had a featured article on the website that we've produced. So what we're going to do is I think it's going to be pretty fun for all OMGers to get involved with. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to introduce you to the website, and I want you all to go there to check it out so we can start our little first bit of traffic over there. The site is set up as a dummy right now. There's no articles up. I wanted it that way so you could see that we're starting from scratch before we get going. So the name of the website, I thought a lot about it, is, is 10x.tips. 10x tips. So if you want to go there right now and check the site out or check it out afterwards, any amount of traffic we can get to the site right now and just hang around and click on stuff. We virtually just set it up. We put some dummy material up there to, to get it going, but this is what the overall site will look like. And the concept of the site is going to be pretty simple. It's going to be anything about digital business. And it could even be you write an article about what you feel are the 10 best office chairs for your home office. Or you could write about the top five routers you need to buy. Or you could write an article about simply the best laptops that are out there. This doesn't have to be all SEO related. Now, are there going to be SEO related things? Sure, as you can see the top, we do have all the categories built, tools. You could simply write one up, hey, the five best free image editors out there. It's pretty simple. You can gather these things together, come up with an article, and you could just put it on here. It doesn't have to be very long, but if it's engaging and it's helpful, people will share it and it'll be cool. I'm also going to take and I'm going to put this content in Woo. So I'm going to take it and move it over to Woo also. Anyone that gets accepted, we're going to promote it in Woo. So it'll get a lot of traction. It'll get a lot of stuff going. So that's the basic concept of it. It could be SEO, marketing related, web design related, even leadership. If a lot of you feel like that you've got a good message out there, hey, you know, the top seven tips to get your day started right for productivity, we can put that in there. So you can see all of the categories up there. And it's going to be very, very, very broad based. What I want it to do is be very versatile, helpful information so people will want to come back and they know that it's just not all SEO related, web design related, it could be email marketing, it could be anything. So Ryan, I like know that we've never talked about the uh, concept of the website, but what do you think about it as a whole, just starting out with this broader topic, keep it around digital? Is this kind of something that, that, that you think that we could grow to 100,000, being that you've done it before? Ryan might have left already. <laughs> <laughs> and so he'll come back a little bit. Derek, what do you think? Uh, repeat the question. <laughs> With being, how we've got the market. website design being so broad, oh, yeah. we can cover a lot of topics. How much easier does that make us be able to hit 100,000 a month in, in total visits? Oh, yeah, because, I mean, like, just SEO itself doesn't have, I don't, I don't think it has enough, traction in the industry, you know, like, mm -hmm. it, like the whole internet marketing um, is it's such a bigger market and there's just so much more to talk about. I mean, I think it, it just, I don't want, we, we don't want it to turn into like a Moz thing or even Moz doesn't just talk about SEO anymore. You know? so, right. Um, yeah, they kind of expanded everywhere else and so is everyone, all the other sites. So, I mean, so, it's all about business, right? So. Yeah, my idea of this site to make it grow is literally we're even going to add a category gaming. So yeah. I like want it to be all digital marketing. You know, it could even be how to market your 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 app or the top five apps. So right. 
I wanted to cover everything that the digital marketer would be interested about, along with SEO and other stuff. And that's the only way that we're going to grow because you are right. SEO is a very, very, very limited niche. And, uh, you know, I just didn't want to get boxed in like that. When yeah. you can see on the front page, Mark just kind of filled this up. We could easily talk about the best digital recorders to make, uh, you know, to go out and shoot videos for YouTube. Uh, right. You know, so there's a lot of different things, you know, top five productivity apps for the iPhone. Things like that. So oh, yeah. we have lots so, of input, like uh, like you know, you and I always talk about different microphones and stuff like that too. So you know, right? Absolutely. You know, you guys might want to know what you know what headphones we use or what microphones to use. We're going to be able to write articles like that that are really going to be helpful for a lot of people. And this is what we're going to do to get it to grow. So we figured this site. I thought a lot about the name, and it really kind of pops. 10x tips. It's easy to say, it flows off the lips. It's easy to remember, 10x.tips. So how many of you like the name? <clears throat> Give me hashtag yes. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm going to be clearing my throat a lot. I apologize. Yeah. Cool. Mark is, uh, Mark is on my website, cottongrabber.com. He's, he's the one that uh, helps me design everything. Mark is incredible about building the blocks of, uh, you know, kind of getting the foundation together, and I'm kind of the interior designer. I'm the one that I want a visual look to it, and I move things around to make it look. Mark built cottongrammar.com, but visually I picked out every picture, moved everything around the way I want, and that's our relationship. So I personally picked this out, uh, personally did the design on it, said, look, I want it to look just like this, move things around until we got it the way we want it. And Mark's incredible about just kind of taking an idea and just kind of building around it. So I'm more the interior designer, and he's more like the builder. So we, we came up with this pretty slick look. Every time that we do a, a new blog post, uh, what it's going to do is it's going to put it inside the colored boxes and rotate them around. We're also going to be able to see sites that are getting uh, the articles that are getting the most clicks with the trending now on the top and below, all the popular articles that you're going to be able to see there. So we're going to be able to get a lot of traction and a lot of people when they show up, they're going to get a lot of different diversity that they're going to be able to click on. So we think it's going to be pretty cool and I've been excited about it for a very long time. Let's go back over to the Facebook group. See what people are doing right here. So, yeah, everyone seemed to be pretty interested in it. So, yeah, pretty cool name. So, what we wanted to do is is also because part of Opus is we're going to show you how to grow your social media accounts. So, with this, I was really adamant about starting uh, an Instagram account because I've been really in Instagram research and development for months and months and months and how to grow an Instagram account very, very, very quickly. And we're also going to be going over this. No, Mark didn't write the articles. So what we're going to be doing is, is that they're, like, they're, they're all dummy articles on the site. We're going to replace them with new stuff. What is really important is, is that Instagram is one of the things that have been taken off stronger than everyone. A matter of fact, right now, young people are actually moving over to Instagram and abandoning Facebook at a very alarming rate. Facebook is kind of turned into the Gen X or the Gen Yers right now, but literally teenagers and people that are 25 and under are flocking to Instagram and Snapchat. So with that, Instagram's a very important piece to get people drawn over, and everyone's on Instagram right now. It's, it's so what we're going to talk about I'm going to show you our Instagram page and how I've been able to grow it organically. Uh, I have refused, and I will do this, and I'm going to say this. If, if you're going to grow a social media account, the very last thing that you want to do is to buy fake followers. What's the purpose? You're wanting social media is used for one thing, and that's to drive traffic from point A to point B or to drive traffic wherever you want. It's certainly not used as you know, a measuring contest amongst your friends to see who's popular. Even though a lot of people really, really do that, that's not it. And so one of the main rules and one of the main things that I really want to make clear is everything we do is 100% organic. Nothing is bought, nothing is faked, everything is done the way, and we're going to teach that. And Derek, you and I have talked about this before, Social media accounts where you just go to Fiverr and you buy a bunch of followers are basically worthless, and there's no point of even doing it. 
Yeah, exactly. Like everyone's always obsessed with the SEO value of uh, getting you know social accounts set up, and and that's not where the value is. It's getting eyeballs. You know, it's it's just a catalyst for trying to get traffic, and and then if someone likes your content and they actually link to it naturally, you know, it's not it's not about getting fake uh, thousand subscribers. You know, <laughs> it literally has nothing has no value at all. Right. And you know what, the link value is, you know, it's just there. But ultimately, you guys really want to know how to monetize these social media accounts. I mean, if that's something that you're very interested in, I'm going to teach you guys here in the next month how to grow an Instagram account like what I'm getting ready to show you. But not only that, how you're going to be able to start up your own Instagram marketing agency where you're going to be able to charge a dollar a, dollar a follower of the people that are actually engaging, that are real people that are real interested, how to target particular geographic areas, how to grow an Instagram account for specific niches. But not only that, I'm going to show you how to farm Instagram accounts to where you can sell off Instagram accounts at four or 5,000 followers. It's getting an incredible amount of interaction and engagement for thousands and thousands of dollars. If you guys are excited about something like that, give me hashtag excited. I want to see because we're going to do that. I've been doing that. I've been doing that. In my life quest to get Opus started, these are some of the outside the box things that we're going to be doing and showing you. And literally, this is kind of the first, even though Ryan showed his funnels, I like wanted you guys to meet Ryan. And last week, having Kevin on, this week is really the first week that we're really going to dive into what I wanted Opus to really be. So that's why we're kind of going over with it, showing you and telling you things that we're going to be going over and doing for you to get the broad picture of kind of what the syllabus is going to be for the rest of the year. So we're going to go over stuff like that. We're also going to be showing you how to do a Twitter. So what we've done is, is we've been able to grow this account. As you can see right now, I started this account. You can go back and follow it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this link right in here so you guys can go to it and I want you guys to do this right now while we're on the webinar I like want you to ah, here we go I want you to follow it if you have an Instagram account I want you to follow it if you don't have an Instagram account I want you to get one before next week I want you to get a Twitter I want you to get it so I want you to follow us on that right now so it's over here and I'm going to talk a little bit about what we've been able to do. So I'm going to show, bring up some analytics. I should have already had this up. But I'm going to show you some of the things I've been able to do in the last 30 days, which is this account. So in 30 days, I was able to get 719 actual followers. And that's not bad for four weeks, considering that we started with absolutely a clean canvas, an absolute clean canvas and had nothing to show for it. So in that time, I want you to look at what happened with our last post. And I wanted to prove this to you because it really is nothing. This picture is nothing. This is a picture, as you can see there, of this bald eagle right here. It is a picture of a bald eagle with spiked hair. It has no value. It means nothing. There's no words on it. It is nothing. And I want to show you the interaction that I've been able to get through it. So with this, 224 likes and five comments on this thing. So we'll bring this thing up. And you can see right here, nice, terrific, thumbs up, and they're, and they're laughing. 229 likes. What this all has to do with, and we'll get to this later, we're giving you previews of stuff, is a formula that I've been able to create to pull people in that's going to interact and we're going to teach that. So... I'm going to show you the analytics of how we've grown this thing to what it is right here. So you can see on July 21st, July 21st, that was just seven days ago, we were at 527. The more followers we get and the more people see that it's legitimate, the more followers we're getting. So you can see we're adding 35, 26 a day, 43, 20, 20, 28, and 28. So we're averaging about 30 new followers per day. So on the pace that we're doing right now, we're probably going to be able to add a 1,000 followers a month. How many of you feel that if you add this 
in your back pocket that you know how to grow accounts like this that you could go into clients or even put your foot in the door with other places and sell this growth at a dollar a follower for people that were really interested in making their Instagram account blow up. How many of you would think that you could actually get that done? Uh, let me see here. Right. So there you go. So with that, this, you can blow it up. You're going to be able to sell it. You're going to be able to get a lot of stuff going. So I've been able to grow these sites at will. And over the course of a month, it's probably going to take about a month. You'll get between 700 to 1,000, depending on your niche. But on month one to two, the growth is going to be incredible. We'll probably get it up to 3,000, 4,000 people, the more people you have there. So what we're going to do is just put more weapons in your belt so you can continue to go. So what I want you to do, if you haven't done it, I want you to go here. we got 719 followers. And I want you to follow us on Instagram right now. So I refresh this. It should be going up. Yeah, 810. So we've got about 80 people follow us. So I want you to watch what we do with this, how we're going to grow it. I haven't posted anything in a few, probably about 10 days or something. But as you can see right here, it's pretty straightforward. There's nothing to it. There's nothing to it. I did one customized look. Look, my very third one, I got 102 likes off of a custom meme that I built with a quote. So we're going to go over that and show you guys how to get that built over the next few weeks. Twitter, I really haven't had a lot of time to, to get on it very much, uh, but I've been able to add, and it's a little slower. I'm going to turn up the pace on this to where it's going to go as fast as Instagram. We were able to get, in the last four weeks, over 159 followers. Things that we're posting are getting shared, are getting interactive, but not at the rate of Instagram, but as you can see, I've been focusing on Instagram. So over the next week, I'm going to be focusing back on Twitter because I've got Instagram down to a science, and we're going to get this thing moving to where we're also going to be able to farm Twitter accounts and get these things going as well. So you're able to sell those off. Think about it. If you have a plastic surgeon and you farm a niched-out Instagram site that has six or 7,000 followers that are following pictures and information about plastic surgery. Derek, how valuable would that be to a plastic surgeon to buy that off your hands? Oh yeah, I mean, uh, we do this, I do this some, somewhat in uh, like the mummy market, like uh, mummy bloggers and and right. so, like, uh, you know, all the mummy makeover, like there's a lot of surgeons paying for that kind of access, you know. Like they pay a ridiculous amount of money for a campaign just to go and on social networks and they don't even care about links or anything like that they just want the exposure right exactly I'm in the process right now that I built an Instagram account up where I'm getting ready to sell it to a plastic surgeon for twenty thousand dollars and it has about seventy five hundred followers on it so think about that what I want to show you is different ways to think outside the box monetization some of this is going to be very 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 easy to do if that sounds like something that you'd like to grow social media niched out accounts and sell those off to the highest bidder and trust me just give them over the login information then if that interests you give me another hashtag hell yeah want to make want to make sure so we're going to continue to push the boundaries of how money's made online so there's SEO is how I make a lot of my money but it's one thing that I've mastered and I figured Derek's mastered one thing. Why don't we put our brains and just master it all? So we're going to show you how to crush, crush social media. There is going to be literally no one that's going to teach what we're going to go over. No one going to go what we're over. We're researching and developing everything. So we're getting a lot of hell yeahs in. So people are pretty excited about it. That's good. So you guys have got a pretty good preview of everything that we're going to be doing. Man, this is locking up. So that's literally what we're going to do. We're going to show you outside the box ways to make money, and it's going to be easy. A lot of it's going to be set it and forget it. A lot of it is going to be so easy that you'll realize, I cannot believe it's this easy. And if those of you that have followed me for over a couple years now, or you've been with me for you know going on three years, or if you've just been with me for six months, you know that my theme is it's got to be simple. 
If it's complicated, I don't want to do it. So the things that we're going to teach are going to be very, very, very simple. It, the learning curve is going to be ridiculously easy. It's not going to be like SEO. And I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. And you're going to be able to add a tremendous amount of weapons that you're going to be able to get back to all these clients. So with that, the uh, email address I want to give you out, if someone wants to write it in, do it so it stays up there. It's cotton at 10x.tips. That's the email address. So if, if you guys will just type that out for me, for everyone, so everyone get that email address. Any article that you want to be considered for that, send it to that email address, cotton at 10x.tips. If you got an article, send it to me. Tell me what it's about. Look at it, and I'm going to get to it, and we're going to get a lot of content on this in the next 30 days. So that's going to be the email address that you're going to send it to. So I want it on the webinar. I want it on the thread so people go back and look at it. That's the email address that you're going to do. In the next few days, I'll get Derek at 10X Tips. I'll get Ryan at 10X Tips, Joe at 10X Tips. There's just four of us that are going to be doing this. So we'll get all of those so you'll be able to reach out to all of them as well. So that'll be the main one that you're going to reach out to with that. But Derek, it's pretty good concept or not, man, getting all this new content crowdsourced in. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a lot of traffic, I think. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And, you know, what I would encourage you guys to do is I want you to promote the hell out of it. You know, if you get an article on there, I want you to support your OMGers, put it in Buffer, put it in this. I, like, want you to help it because any little piece of information or, you know, that we can get out there that can be shared, and even if we get back five or six clicks, you know, remember, it's about the inches you move forward. It's not about the miles. It's inches. And if we can get another five clicks, another 10 clicks, another 50 clicks, it all adds up. And it's going to help us hit our goal at the end of the year. So you're going to be able to watch us to grow this site. And hopefully a year from now, this is a website that's making an incredible amount of money with a lot of advertisers. It's literally going to be one of the premier digital marketing websites that everyone goes to. Uh, and you know what? It's got a pretty slick name to it and a pretty cool logo, too, So, and a pretty cool website. So it's going to be easy, easy, easy to get it done. I like think if everyone pitches in and get it done. I'm also going to be putting articles in there. Joe is, Derek is, Ryan is. We're all going to be putting all of our new content in there. I'm going to also be putting content in cottongrammar.com. I'm going to push my people over to 10x tips. So pretty much I'm going to be working on getting this. I'm not working on rankings. Don't care about that. One of the weird parts about us getting to grow this is, is I'm really not worried about where it ranks or what it does. It's just going to take care of itself, and that's a really weird concept. These guys might not understand, right, Derek? Yeah, you know, it's kind of weird because I have some clients that that they have, uh, you know, like they're they're getting forty thousand visitors a day, and they've never done a single thing for SEO. You know, it's just, so it's like once you're there now they actually think about it it's like it's so much easier to do SEO on a site that's already got getting you know 20,000 mm -hmm. to 30,000 visitors a day is because all it does is it needs is like a little push you know because they rank for hundreds of thousands of keywords at a time it's just they had no idea that they don't have the analytics behind it they don't know where it's coming from a lot of times so it's it's a pretty good combination absolutely you know as long as we get the SEO right up on the on page and the articles Things are just going to move itself, you know. It's just, it's look at a car with a steering wheel. The power of all the traffic and everything else is going to steer it in the right direction. So, we're actually, I'm, I'm making sure that we don't, we're not going to put any, any PBNs, any links towards it whatsoever. If people want to share to it, they can, you know, they, they want to put a link to it naturally. This site's going to be grown organically. We're not going to manipulate anything to show you guys exactly how we're going to get it going. So with that, we talked enough about 10x tips. I wanted to debut that to guys. Opus was all around. Watch us over the shoulder as we build a site to 100,000 visitors per month. We'll spend, if it warrants it, we'll spend a few moments every week updating on progress, going over some of the articles, talking about some of the people that we've accepted for articles. We'll like show you the growth of the sites every week. It'll probably be about five minutes every week. So everybody can just stay watching this. So you can see just how powerful 
good content can actually get things to just catch on fire. So that's one of the things that we'll be doing. So with that, what I want to do is, is I want to jump in and I want to teach you guys something that I've been doing right before your eyes. And it is called looping. And I've been able to build an incredible list by looping. And I've got people engaged. I've got people moving traffic wherever I want. And it's been one of the more smarter things that I've been able to piece together. And the cool part about it is, is a lot of people, sometimes when they look at tools and look at other things, they just don't know how to put them together and move the pieces on the chessboard the right way they want it. So I messed around with a lot of things and I was interested in pushing you know, traffic to certain places, growing social media accounts, and literally utilizing things in different ways that had never been done before. So I started investigating a lot of tools and a lot of services because ultimately I really don't need to reinvent the wheel. I just need to take the car and go to another destination. So that's been the philosophy of this. So how many of you have seen that when you have clicked on Snipply links and then you have seen that I have been having an overlay on a page that is promoting something else and you've clicked on it to see what I have. If, if, if you've seen that, give me hashtag seen, just S-E-E-C, -E -E, that like you've seen it. Well, what would you say if I told you that by me doing this, I've been able to build a list going back to my website of an incredible amount of people, an incredible amount. So everyone's seen it, and I'm sure that a lot of people were going, well, how does this happen? How does he do it? What's going on? So I'm going to show you exactly what it is, and we're going to do something for the very first time tonight that we've never done. We're going to go to what I'm going to call Opus Whiteboard. We're going to bring up a whiteboard right here on the webinar, and we're going to show it. So ah, Facebook is just horrible tonight. So what we're going to do is, is I'm going to show you exactly how I've created this looping and how it, it, if you're not doing it, you're just insane. So one of the first things that we've done is, is what is Snipply? I'm going to go and I'm going to describe to you what it is. So what Snipply is, is I want you to imagine Snipply is like Bitly. So it's a special link. It's a link shortener, but Snipply is very different. So with, when you have a link shortener, they're basically used to track clicks is what they're meant to do. That's their main purpose. You can track the analytics of interaction that goes on with things. So Snipply is very, very, very different. And when I stumbled upon it, I thought of the different ways that I could use it, and it literally blew my mind. So with Snipply, what you simply do is, is when you click on the link, Snipply keeps track of the amount of clicks that are happens, but it also keeps track of the conversion, the overlay that's on the page. So you guys have seen to where you clicked on the webinar link, and we'll just do like right there where he's put it there, but you've, you've seen the webinar link, and this week, I was promoting follow me on Instagram. So what happens is when you get with Snipply, you can promote many different things. Some of you guys have seen me promote my website. Some of you guys have seen me promote social media. I've used it to promote a terrible amount of other stuff. But here's some really cool stuff. And I'm getting a lot more into analytics and just finding out the actions of why people do what they do. So let's like go into Snipply right here. And we can look at this right here. This Snapchat alone, that follow me on Snapchat right here that you guys did, that you've seen this overlay that's in yellow right here, I want you to look. It created 1,289 clicks, and 78 people clicked on follow me to see where it goes, and I was actually able to grow my Snapchat account by 41 people, 41 people by just this Snipply link. 41 people there. Now, otherwise, I want you to think about this. And now this should get your mind going, and we're going to get a little bit deeper into this. All I did was do what I've always done. 
I shared the webinar link. Now, haven't I been doing that? If you guys have been in assimilation, or haven't you seen me share that thing for two years now? Yes. But was it getting me anything? So what I did was I took a task that was almost worthless, and I created something pretty unique out of it, which is I grew my Snapchat. And I've been using that everywhere to get my Snapchat built up. Because as you know, there is no way to manipulate a Snapchat grow. We're going to talk about how to grow your Snapchat later in Opus, later on, weeks away. So with that, isn't it cool that I was able to grow by 40-plus people by just doing one more step than I normally did? Give me a hashtag cool if you're not kind of – if you didn't understand it before, now, now you're like, damn, I'm kind of understanding it now. If I didn't, let me ask that cool. I want to see how many people's with me so far. But like the same task I've always done, I brought value to it by having an overlay. By just having an overlay that I've always used before, letting you guys know that my Snapchat account was there, that just boom, that then I just got followers for doing nothing. But not only that, I had no idea that in assimilation, that that link was getting clicked 1,200 times. Would you have thought that, Derek? 1,200 clicks on the webinar link? No, that's, uh, that's pretty crazy. Man. <laughs> yeah, I, I would have never thought it. I mean, we have about 400 on right now. So you ask yourself, where does all the, how did it get clicked on 1,200 times? 1,200 times, and then 78 clicked over to look at where it was going to send them. So it was very interesting for me to know those type of facts. Now, I've got other ones on, and we have other overlays that I've been able to do. And as you can look, some of them were Opus, which says sign up for Opus here. So I'd like to put one out. If you can look in the middle of the screen right here, you can change the color of, of anything. Notice I made Snapchat yellow, so you can see it. And then you guys have seen the other one that I've got right here, which is this, which is get more traffic to your business website. Click here, Cotton Grammar Internet Media, with my logo on it. And that right there pushes people over to my site. So that's real traffic I would have got to my site. So now that you kind of understand what Sniffly is about, I want to take you a little deeper into how you can use it. So you can literally create an overlay for anything that you want. Now, how many of you, if you see a very, very, very cool article on Facebook that you click on it? to see what it's about, especially if it engages you. Give me hashtag I do. Like if there's an article, you're like, what the hell is this? I got to see what's going on. How many of you click on at least one a day? Give me hashtag I do. I, I like literally want to see how many people do. Engaging articles. Get a lot, a lot of, man, this Facebook is so freaking slow tonight. We're like breaking this page. So I know that I do. I like normally click on, I like counted. You know, it's funny to count yourself because sometimes you just do stuff unconsciously. I clicked on a minimum of five articles a day on Facebook that other people were posting. So what that is is it's no different, it's no different than the mundane task that I was doing. Come on, Facebook. It was, it was I was doing something that literally was a waste of freaking time. And you were doing something that was a waste of time. You were sharing content to people without it benefiting you outside of that you look at, oh, look, I got 14 likes. Well, who cares? So you got 14 likes on an article. You posted about someone else that you didn't write. And, and people, it, it blows my mind how people think. Look, I'm cool. I shared an article that's cool. Well, you didn't write it. You don't own the website. You're not making any money out of it. So how cool does that really make you? Not at all. It's people that are literally trying to just go for clicks. They're like, oh, look, I got four, I got 22 likes because I can pick some cool articles. It's like, come on. It's kind of crazy when you think about it, isn't it, Derek? <laughs> I know. We, we've all done it. <laughs> all yeah. Like, well, you're right. I want to know how many links are going to get this. <laughs> right. It's, but, it's, but it's crazy. So if we're going to do that anyway, if we're going to do that anyway, what I've done with other client accounts, and I've been doing this with clients, testing them out, is this. 
there's, and we're going to go over this very, very, very briefly. If you've got something that's relevant, and if you've got something that's cool, then what happens is people are going to click on it. It's just simple. It's simple. So where do I go to when I want to know if something's cool that I want to share? But first of all, you got to know your audience. So I know what you guys want. So if I put something on my wall, how many of you noticed that I get anywhere from 400 to 700 likes on everything that I post now? That, that it's just It just blows up, especially if you're friends with me. If you're not friends with me, it's because I'm maxed out at 5,000. For those of you that are friends with me, we can go over here, and when you've got your social media dialed in and you know what your audience wants, then you get a tremendous amount of interaction. So with this one right here, I just posted it Monday, and I've got seven, uh, sorry, 527 likes. But the real key thing right here is shares. So what I'm doing is I've always been testing for the last six months and finding out what engages people. Then when we get down here, no one gives a damn where I'm eating at. Nobody does. It's just the, the way it is. It gets 21 likes. But notice when you share something that people really want to engage in, we'll go down here to, like, no, a few people cared that I checked into South Beach. Not that many people gave a damn. But now look what happens. Is Look at something relevant here. Thanks for the obvious. And notice this. Now, this is what I want to show you. I found something that was engaging to my audience and the people. Obviously, I've got all SEO friends. I've got people that I know that are interested in marketing, SEO, and information So that, that, that pertains to marketing. So with that, I decided to share this article. Now, if you look at it, I got 423 likes. Instead, on a normal day, I would have posted this article, and I wouldn't have gotten a damn thing out of it, nothing. But let's click on this article and see what it does. So I click on this article right now, and I want you to look at what it does. So it's taken a little bit for it to come up, but look at what it does now. Crazy. Now, what I did was I did not waste my time. <laughs> what I did was I shared a cool article, and I drove all of you over to this overlay. So you could click this. And all I did was is I created a simple landing page that's literally so stupid that it's ridiculous. I like put up a – I went out and I got a custom URL, cottonsnapchat.com, 301 it right into a Tumblr, and right there is my snap code. And I put my snap code right in there so you can follow it and even put my Instagram on there. And I actually got Instagram followers from it as well. So by me taking the time, to just use a Snipply link, I once again grew my Snapchat account. Everyone's seen the overlay. But, uh, so how many of you guys are following me right now about not wasting time, about not wasting time posting articles anymore and to get some benefit out of it? Just give me a hashtag, stop wasting, stop wasting. So stop wasting your time. So what you're doing is right now is you're sharing engaging content, but you can put an overlay to push people back to wherever you want to go. So you say, well, Cotton, you know, what about, I don't know how to find articles that people are engaged with through this. Well, it's pretty simple. And I've went through this one other time in a simulation light, but we're going to go over a little bit again tonight, is how you can find viral topics that you can share to get people, especially on your customers, on your customers' uh, Facebook pages, their Twitter, their Instagram, or everywhere else. You can put Snipply links everywhere that's driving people to somewhere else. Yes, you can connect this with Q and Buffer. You can put Snipply links in your Buffer and share that as well. So Snipply is going to work everywhere just like that. So hold on a second. This thing is getting crazy. So hopefully you guys are kind of getting the idea here that if you're going to share something, why don't you actually push somewhere something else? They're going to click on it out of curiosity or you're going to promote your business. So now what I'm doing is I'm hijacking relevant content. Hijacking relevant content. So instead of sharing that piece of information that says, oh my God, 
Darth Vader is going to be in the Star Wars new Rogue One. And you have a bunch of your buddies click on it. Hey, put the overlay on it. Push them somewhere. Push them to your Instagram account. Push them back to your money site. Push them to a client site. Have your client share stuff that's engaging to them. So this way, yeah, you can drop a pixel on them too. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But one thing you can always use that I've always went to to look for what to share with is Google Trends. And Google Trends is pretty cool. Derek, you ever use this a lot? Yeah, it's, uh, it's one of my go-tos. Yeah. So we can see right now that this is literally what is hot and what people are searching for right now. So if I really wasn't sure about what I wanted to share or to engage in, I'm going to come here to see what people are searching for. And Dunkin' Donuts, well, why are people talking about Dunkin' Donuts? I'm going to click right here and I'm going to say, Dunkin' Donuts employee sprays donuts with bleach. Now, let me ask you this. If I was to share this, hold on, let me click this right here. And this is how simple it's going to be. So I've got this that's going to come up right here. And Snipply's right here. So all i got to do is click this. And I need to decide what I'm going to snip it with. If I want to share my Snapchat, I can put it over that. Or look, I can put it down to, I want to grow my traffic right here. I want to grow my website. So this is what it's going to look when I come over here. Notice, click here. It's going to take the landing page as my page. I'm going to snip it. So what I'm going to do is right now is I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to come right over here. God, I'm going to hate to share this. I'm very picky about what I share, but I'm going to show you guys for a reason. So all i got to do is paste this link and post. It's automatically going to pull it up for me. Or it should pull up on the page. I wonder why it didn't. It normally pulls up everything. So, <laughs> normally does. Maybe I need to go to the other page. So, when I come here and when I click on this and I'm sharing this, look at what happens. Now, this is what happens. And it happened that quick. Look at that. Dunkin' Donuts sprays employees bleach spray, but I've shared that. Now, I'm not telling you to go stupid because if I just see you guys sharing a bunch of snippet links, I'm going to remove you from my Facebook feed. Be strategic about it. I like see you guys that are putting like woo and buffer stuff in your own personal profile. No one gives a damn about that on your own personal profile. If you think you're trying to sell your friends, you're crazy. Every now and then you'll have really, really, really cool stuff that you can share to your audience. But be of value to your audience. Just don't post random shit just because you can. Make it engaging. I won't post anything that I don't feel will get engagement. That's my rule with social media. I don't put dead weight stuff out there. So, and if they click this, what's going to happen is they're going to go right back, right back to my website. It's going to take them there. But here's what I know. I'm going to know how many people clicked on that article and how many people actually landed on my site. But even if I get five visitors from posting that article somewhere or posting it on Twitter or posting it on a LinkedIn somewhere, guess what? There's five more visitors than I had before, which means I'm not wasting time anymore. So that's how fast this goes down. Let me delete this. Can't stand to have crap on my wall that's not. So how many of you understand now and, and are really getting the value of this? Let me go back down to OG way. I want you to give me hashtag value. If you're already finding the value of how you can make this work and driving traffic to different places. And we're going to go over part two here in a second. So we're having it go up. So there's a tremendous amount of value for this. So what I want you to start doing is thinking of outside the box ways to drive traffic from and hijacking articles from like there. And you've just seen how we were able to do that very, very, very quickly. And boom, just like that, created a Snipply link and then back over all from going to Google Trends. That's it, right here. I was able to find this out. So, and it's relevant right now. It's red hot on Google. It's in the top five trending story. It's number eight in the world right now, trending on that is skyrocketing. If you don't find anything that you want, there's different categories. There's sports, there's entertainment, there's business. Everything is going to be able to see. It's like, why is Gilmore Girls? It's like, I don't even watch Gilmore Girls, but why is it number one? Oh, because they're planning to come back to Netflix with a new series. So that's like what it is there. But you can even look at the interest. 
So like right here, Black Mirror Netflix, Netflix got a lot of traffic. What is that? Black Mirror Season 3. People are talking about that. You can see it's getting crazy. The search interest is 100 for this sort of stuff. There's 235 news article about the Black Mirror. So never even heard of it before. But everyone's going crazy looking for it. Kim Kardashian, meeting up with the Kardashians. You know, America's Got Talent. Kristen Stewart, she was on Jimmy Fallon last night doing a Jello Shot Twister. You know, you could share that video. So there's a lot of different things that you can do. I just want to make sure that we went over this tonight. Don't forget Google Trends, even the Grammys. You know, if you're talking about the Grammys, it's popular right now. Taylor Swift versus Kanye West. You can look at it right here, all the different things that are going. The top city searches for Grammys, if you lived in these cities right now and you're posting about the Grammys, it'd be a good place to post if you're living in the Los Angeles area. It's a red-hot topic right there. So I'm not going to re-go over Google Trends. We've done it once before. If you go over the simulation, you're going to get that. So where we're at right now, and this is still spinning, this is crazy. So now that I've showed you what Sniply is, what I want you to do is especially it's, it's going to be very important. If, if I was you, I wouldn't worry about building up social media accounts for yourself. I'm a little different to where I'm almost a public figure now with OMG. I do Bob Proctor's webinars for him. I do a lot of other stuff. I'm trying to get my name out there. It's really something I'm working on, but ultimately, I really give a damn about making money. I don't care about being popular. Being popular doesn't make any money unless you can monetize it. But I do, I've figured out how to monetize this stuff. So what I want you to do is, is to share things that literally are going to help you get business and to build a list. So I searched and searched and searched, and I found something that I really, really, really love. So I was driving all of this traffic to my website, but then they were leaving. They were never coming back. And I've never been one to capture email addresses. And so what I started to do was I found a service. How many of you have been to my site and you've seen another pop-up asking you to accept push notifications from me. How many of you have seen that? So now, here's where it gets real interesting. Everyone's saying yes. So what you do is, is you take the snippily and you share stuff hijack relevant content that you didn't create, that you did not create, and you push them to your website. Now what happens is when they, you're not going to convert everyone, but it's a non-evasive way to get people interested in you. So with that, where is it at here? I already get rid of it. So here we have. This is what is from Push Crew that I've been able to do. So when you go into Push Crew, what it does is it pushes out notifications right here on there and over cell phones when you build a list. Now, I've been able to build a list of close to over 2,000 people just by people landing on my website naturally and by people that I pushed over from Sniply. So it's a combination that we're linking these things together. And this is what I called looping. So what we're doing is we're hijacking some content, we're putting an overlay on it from Sniply, driving them to my money site, driving them to my business site. And then what I'm doing is, is asking them if I can get notifications, if they'll accept, to get notifications, and I'm making it engaging. So I was able to get over 2,000 people say yes I want notifications. So now any time that I post an article or any time I do anything, I push that notification out instantly. And when I did that last week, I had an article. I don't know if you guys noticed it or not. I did an article, Seven Ways to Speed Up Your Website. When I put that article out, I pushed out a notification. I was able to drive back over 800 people within two hours to that particular page without doing anything but hitting a couple buttons. And it's all real time, and it also tracks how many people got the notification, 
just like here that's on the screen, how many people went back to the site, and my analytics blew up. I literally had over 8,000 people over the course of 48 hours hit my new article that I had, all from just doing a few buttons, and I'm still growing it and growing it and growing it. So you're able to loop these people back around. So now that I've got these 2,000 people and I've earned their trust, see, because I just don't want to build any email list. I want to build a real powerful email list. Then what I'm doing is, is in the next couple months, when I've got everyone that sees what I'm pushing out, then I'll start offering them to get on my email list, which will be people that know the value of being on my email list. And I don't have any bullshit. I'd rather have a thousand super solid psyched people to get my email because they're only going to give incredible value. Then I would rather have 10,000 and no one gives a damn what I'm saying. And you guys have been on people's lists like that who where you get an email and you ignore it. You see, I want to be one of these people to where you don't ignore my email. So I want to make sure that you guys have seen the loop so far right now. And we're going to go to the whiteboard here in a second. We're going to show it. But Derek, what do you think about this concept of looping so far? You commuted. I like it kind of actually something very similar. I used push through myself. I used to use Snippet too. Both really good tools. Yeah. Good. Yeah, we called on you earlier. We didn't know if you had a call or what, so I was kind of scared to call back on you. Uh, so I'm here. Yeah. Cool. But so this is something that's very, very, very simple. You know, it, it doesn't take rocket science to piece all these things together. But remember, from Snipply back over to a money site, back over to getting notifications to where back through, and then I'll add another layer to it later. So that's what this looping is all about. You're getting, you're basically hijacking content and you're adding value to things. You're adding the overlay to things that you would never, ever have thought about, tasks, things that you would already share that you're not getting any value out of, now they're becoming valuable. Now you want to share things. Now you can drive traffic. Think about how this would work for clients. If you showed them this, we did a couple things like this for them, especially people that have very engaging social media sites. I've, I've been able to drive a tremendous amount of traffic when they've added things like this. It's added a tremendous amount of value. So what we're going to do is we're just going to show you guys this. I pause the screen for a second. You guys can't see my screen, can you? Is it paused, or did you just see blank? Derek, Ryan, anybody? It says uh, push crew right now. Okay, so it's so great. Then there's pause on the screen. Let me bring this up because i got to bring up applications. So we're, like, making a lot of crazy stuff here to do this. So hold on. Changes. Um, iPad. Get this working here. Great. Let me get this. Cool. Now let me bring this up, see if you guys can see it. Can you guys see the kind of like the whiteboard right here? No, it's still on push. Okay, now it's coming back. Cool. Great. Yeah. Yeah. First ever we've ever did a whiteboard on a webinar. So we're, we're, we're going to do it. Give me hashtag whiteboard. I'm like looking on the other page. I'm scared to get off this so I don't mess it up. Hopefully this is going to work out well. I'll, I'll get better and better at it. This is my first time. I want to see at least a couple hundred of these hashtag whiteboards on here. I'm going to go over the exact process that we do so you guys can see it. And what we're going to do here is, is right here, I want you to get content. Now we've showed you guys how to do that. We, we've like showed you guys how to go out, search for content. Sh and look, there's one that happened right there on my screen. You see that from Ahrefs? That's their push crew right there. Push notification up right there. The Ahrefs just put out a new article. Everything you ever wanted to know about Anchor Text but didn't want to ask. Those guys are about as smart as a wet noodle. You like talk to those guys quite a bit, don't you, Ryan? Ryan might not be listening. He's muted. Those guys need to stick with software and not SEO writing. That's all I know. Their last article, Lily, was horrendous about that on-page doesn't work anymore. 
So you're going to get your content, and what you're basically going to do is you're going to take the content and you're going to snip it. So we're going to snip it right here, and then from snipping it, then what we're going to do is we're going to take it and we're going to move it back over to the push crew where we where we capture we're, we're going to capture notifications we're going to capture notifications and from the notifications we're going to drive traffic back to hold on our money site we're going to drive traffic back to our money site. So then, once we have people, we drive them back. Then we can set up opt-ins. We've shown value because I want to build my email list for people that want to be on it. I'm going to build it real slow. I'm going to build it right. So this is kind of like exactly what you're going to do right here. And it all loops back around. So the content right here goes back to Snipply, goes back to Push Crew. You get the notification goes to your money site, they accept the notification, you create content, and then it comes right back to your website once again. So all of that stuff goes on right there. So that's what's so valuable about doing this right here. So what I want you guys to focus on between now and next week is I want you guys to think about what your audience would want. I spend a lot of time scrutinizing, and we're going to talk about content, shareable content, viral content, all this other stuff later on. But what I want you to think about is what would everyone engage in? What is, you know, what is going to get someone to like an article so much that they want to click on it, to read it? Know your audience. Know your client's audience. And where do you want to drive your traffic to from this? Where do you want to snip it? So when, so when you snip it, you want to ask yourself, where do you want to drive the traffic? Whoops. Where do you want to drive the traffic? And then once you get the traffic, then you're going to get the notifications. You want to get the push notifications. You want them to accept getting notifications from your site so you can drive traffic back to your site. What this does is it creates a never-ending loop back to back for traffic just because you shared a piece of content and that's what the lessons about tonight taking stupid tasks simple things that you're already doing by just adding one more piece to everything so with that it's a very simple lesson you guys have watched me do it Let me click off this nipply push right here you, you, you you've watched me do it and let me get this off of here. We go back over to the Facebook page. Let me share it again. You guys have been watching me do this right in front of your eyes for weeks and weeks and weeks. I wanted this to be a very, 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 very light, light webinar, a fun webinar, kind of getting you guys acclimated to seeing just some of the things that I'm doing. I'm going to be using a lot of this stuff to drive traffic back to 10x tips. I use it to drive traffic to my website. I've used it to build my my Instagram account, I've like used it to build, it, you know, Snapchat, all that sort of stuff. The possibilities are endless in what you can do with this. So if you found this to be, because literally we're experimenting every week, we're way outside the box with stuff, if this is something that you found that you're going to do and you've enjoyed this webinar, just give me, hash, just give me a one, just give me a one. I want to see if you guys like stuff like this, if like Opus is right on the path of what you're wanting, if you want new fresh stuff every week about how to do it, just give me ones on here, good. Great. Derek, did you see anything that I was doing that you could add to stuff? Or, I mean, it's always good to get your eyes on some stuff of what I was doing. Um, well, I was just thinking of like, because we already went through the LinkedIn stuff, and I mean, this is, I mean, a lot of people are like, thinking, well, where am I going to, I don't have that many friends and stuff like that, but I mean, if you're developing all those connections right now, you, now you have something to, to start sharing and, and instead of always having to, uh, you know, direct message everyone, but get people to start coming to you this way, right? Thank you. 
Thank you, Derek. That's incredible. So I want you to think about this. The one piece I wasn't doing that now we can add on to the lesson from LinkedIn is this, is now when you have your custom URL, what if it was a Snipply link instead? So when you send them back over to the web page or the web analysis or the free website stuff, you can also be promoting your Instagram or your Facebook as well. They're already on your website. So what other thing do you have to, you know, that you could push on them to get to do? But it might be a little bit of an overload too because we're going to have the notification there as well. Now, I was doing that. Now, with the LinkedIn stuff, I like got uh, one of my friends to start clicking on my LinkedIn profile. If you guys notice, if you've been over to my LinkedIn, I've actually changed the, uh, the uh, header of it to be more enticing for people. And I got her to start clicking on people and doing exactly what I taught you guys to do. And I've gotten a tremendous amount of people that were accepting the notifications. So all sometimes all you need is a push crew. They're, once they're already on your money site, you don't want to have too many pop-ups coming up. So I would have the Snipply pop-up. I'd have the push crew pop-up. Do they want to do this? But definitely start thinking about that. If anything else, it's very important for you to do this, for you to get push crew. Push crew is really important because look at all the people that are landing on your website right now that might not ever come back. And if you've got something like, hey, this algorithm just came out or this new mobile update came out, you can push that out to everyone, including your clients. And a matter of fact, you can tell future clients to say, look, if you want to stay on top of all my future algorithms or if something happens, if you want to stay on it, I can send you a notification accept it. It doesn't matter if they're in your, if you're talking to them, if they're your future client, past client, you're in the process of talking to them. How would you like to keep them in your recommendations? When a mobile update came out or a new algorithm came out and the notification came across, Google releases new algorithm, check here to see if you're affected and you have all these past and future clients clicking in and then contacting you asking What's up? Am I okay? So think about that. So very good, very good insight there. Ryan, if you're with us, do you have anything to add to this or see any sort of value you could throw in from the lesson? Yeah, Push Crew is also, I don't know if you mentioned Kyle, but Push Crew is free for the first 500 subscribers. Um, mm -hmm. So it's very low barriers to entry to get to, to start using that. But the content's really the, the, the cornerstone of that, of that. You don't want to be bothering people with. Um, right you know, just random updates. If and when you send notifications, make sure that it's for something uh, that people are going to care about and not annoy them because you can easily push people the wrong way. Exactly. Very, 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 very true. I've only put one notification out the entire time I've had the account, and that yeah. was for the article that I put out. So Ryan gives very, very, very sound advice. Much like what I just said earlier, know your audience. You know, come to them with a tremendous amount of value. And Ryan's been able to do that a lot. He's really got it locked down a lot. That's why one of his co-hosts is Ryan's got a pretty good pulse on when to bother people. And it's when he's got a, a tremendous amount of value to offer that they're glad. It's like, wow, I'm glad he pushed that out so I can read it and see it. And that's a sort of mentality that you want to have. So it sounds, sounds, sounds advice. So, with that, guys, we're going to wrap up another edition of Opus. I uh, was just talking to Ryan earlier. He's chomping at the bit. He's got a tremendous amount of stuff to share. We're going to get him on the books with a certain amount of stuff. We're going to get Derek on the books. But this is one of these kind of weird out there lessons that I think that's really powerful for you guys. And, uh, you know, if, if you enjoyed Opus and you want us to keep going outside the box like this with these different sort of lessons, give me hashtag Opus. Thank Ryan. Thank Derek. For their time on here, they're not they're not getting paid. Ryan, is there anything that you want to promote or push at this time? No, nah, man, I'm good. Cool. You guys will be able to see Ryan. He'll also be him and Derek will be speaking at OMG live this year also. So I'm sure that they're going to have some pretty mind bending stuff to go over right there. If you guys have not got your tickets to OMG live, it's not too late. It's not too late to get on the payment plan. And I can tell you this. I suspect that we're going to sell out in the next 30 days. So if you haven't got your tickets yet, I would definitely get on. We have about 150 seats left out of about 
1,400 seats. So just to let you know. So it's going to be an incredible event. With that, uh, Derek, any last words? No, just have a good night, everyone. Great. Ryan, last words before we go? Take care, y'all. See you next time. Cool. All right. See you guys later.